Welcome back everyone. This is part two for the winch bumper install. Now it might not seem like it on YouTube but it's been at least two weeks since you saw me uh, doing part one. As you know we hit a snag uh, breaking the bolt and steering gearbox spacer up there that always breaks and a uh, little tip is if you're working on this just buy the spacer. I should have done it. Uh, I did not. I didn't really think of it at the time and uh, what ended up happening, long story short, is I got uh, an eBay special spacer and hardware, and it was cheaper, but it took two weeks to get here. So if, uh, if you're going to do this, just buy the part in advance, go the cheap route, and give yourself some time to get it. Or you're just going to have to bite the bullet and buy it for way over price uh, from one of the reputable brands. Now, if I were to do it again, since I was in a pickle and I needed it or wanted it so I could get the Jeep back on the road, uh, and have something to do during this coronavirus crisis. Uh, I would have probably bought from Iron Rock Off-Road. Um, uh, I don't have any affiliation with anybody, <laughs> of course. I'm just, uh, I'm just me. But um, that eBay special was like 30 bucks with the hardware. I think from IRO it would have been like 40 bucks or something like that, maybe 50. But uh, still less than JCR Off-Road. Uh, which is just stealing your money at this point, I think, and uh, would have been here in a reasonable amount of time. So we've moved past the uh, <laughs> being upset about the eBay thing. You know, as a mom and pop shop, we supported them. Great. They had problems during this crisis like everyone that got here. We're over it. Now, I'm sorry I don't have any footage. I had to run up to my parents and install it real quick. They're older, uh, higher risk for this virus. I live with my girlfriend who works in the hospitals, so... Uh, I couldn't be hanging around up there. I just threw the spacer in and dragged the Jeep back down here to the city. And I'll be working on it today. So today I'm going to show you the rest of the uh, the install. I'm working on the street <clears throat> again. And uh, and we're used to that. So I got two brackets. I'll have to pull that spacer or the bolts back out for the spacer. Line up the brackets on both sides and throw that winch member up. It's really just uh, a few bolts from here. But I'll show you what's going on. Okay, first things first is I gotta remove the front bumper. As you can see, I already started. Um, gonna zip out these three bolts. And these are the three new bolts with the steering box spacer. So I will uh, get this front bumper off and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, so I snuck in the bracket here behind the fender support. And as you can see, I got some jerry-rigged through there. I had to drop a bolt down for my sway bar um, bracket there. So now I have to line up all the bolts. They have to go through the bracket, through the frame, through that spacer, and into the steering gearbox. So I got a lot going on here. Going to be a little bit of finagling and probably some muscling going on, but I'm going to get to it. So I finally got the first bolt lined up, and I forgot I really wanted to put some thread lock on there. So I'm <laughs> going to get it back out, get a little drop of this. I'm not sure if it's recommended, but it definitely comes from factory with thread locker on it. And it'll make me feel a little bit better, so we're going for it. Okay, so here's the hardware kit that comes with the bumper. And I didn't realize, well let me just tell you first, these long bolts are going to take the place of, uh, you know, where those three bolts on the driver's side were for the steering box. There's uh, open slots on the other side of the frame. So they provide the hardware for the non-existent bolts there. And I just realized we got a bunch of nuts in here, more than just for those. So um, this is going to be used for where the bumper actually connects. So we have these stupid, there we go. I don't know what you want to call these, <laughs> nut certs or whatever. So we can rip those off. I kept them on uh, when I first installed this. So I'm going to take it off and uh, yeah, we'll use those brand new, brand new hardware. All right, so if you look right here where my finger is, you can see that there's this bracket that comes and lies inside the frame rail. These bolts right here are for the sway bar mount right below it. But right here is not a full hole, although it's cut out on the frame. The uh, bracketry inside here, the plate in here is blocking it. So we're going to have to drill through, and it's just going to be the edges of this bracket. So I'm going to get a drill and go ahead and do that. Okay, so I drilled, I got through the first side here where I have a lot of leverage and just I have a lot of room outside here. Under there you're kind of fighting with the harmonic balancer and stuff to get your drill in line 
So it's not easy to drill through. Sorry, I don't have you lined up here. But basically, if you look through, you can see that corner over there, and it's really hard to get it with the drill bit. Uh, I just don't have the right tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt the rest of the bracket up, make sure this is lined up. I'm going to get in there with the Dremel and just shave off that last bit when I can get a hold of one. But uh, it shouldn't affect just mounting the bumper right now at all. So I'm just going to throw on the hardware I have. Um, there aren't, <clears throat> like the other side, you screw directly into the uh, steering box. But here, obviously, we need nuts, so we have hardware for that. All right, she's all installed. Paint came out all right. I like the look. I was worried a little bit that I wouldn't, but we do have one issue, and that's they gave us these bolts, all right, but they didn't give us any nuts for them. In the hardware pack, there was three washers that were clearly large, larger than the rest, you know, like these ones. It makes me think that they might have wanted me to use these for the steering box I don't know but then they would have left me high and dry for these three right here so recap we have three of these bolts we don't have nuts that fit them we had two extra of this size and we have three washers so I don't know clearly I didn't keep that one lined up like I said I would but we got two at least and uh, we're gonna have to figure out a way so the the other reason why I feel like these are wrong is because when I get it through, the nut would come all the way up on here if I were to actually have a nut still. It, it goes too far through, so... I don't know. I'm gonna go to the hardware store. Alright, well that wraps up the bumper install. As you can see, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, I hope you agree. Uh, if not, I don't really care. I like it. Um, Got to remember that sticking out a little closer in the front. I do a lot of parallel parking here, so we'll see if I scrape any tailgates coming up here in the next couple weeks. I hope not. Um, drop a comment down below if you like the video, if uh, you want to see more like this. Just getting started here, so we'll see if uh, we're going to continue making any. I got a lot of ideas for the Jeep, and there's always something new to fix. Parts on order. I wonder what will be next. So, look out for more videos, and... To everyone, stay safe, uh, keep each other safe, all the essential employees, um, and all those that it's essential, essential that you're employed. Uh, wish you luck and, and thanks. Um, it's a tough time, so keep together and keep jeeping. I'll see you guys soon.